Uh, Ethan, it's been it's been some year, it's been some season for you, so we're a better place to start than UEFA Youth League. We've got Dortmund on Tuesday. How much are the lads looking forward to that? I think if everybody's looking forward to Ankh, it's probably it's up there with the, probably the biggest game of our everybody's careers to be fair, at Hibs at least. Because I mean uh, I mean obviously making your debut and that's proud, but like this is like a really like big team game. So I think for us all focus is on that game and just getting through to the next round. Yeah, I mean it's been some journey the UEFA Youth League. Did you did you honestly think you could get this far or, or talk to us about the, the story so far uh, of the competition? I, I think honestly if in ourselves I think we could but I was obviously I didn't play the first leg, obviously I was in, injured, mm -hmm. so I just I was sitting in the physio room refreshing Twitter every like <laughs> two seconds. But I obviously the first leg was I think the boys said they were a wee bit disappointed with the result. I think they could have got something out of it. But mm. I think one 0 over there in our first game, like as a group playing in that type of stage and just did like the stadium and stuff, mm -hmm. I think. It's a good good result and then obviously took them back to Easter Road and I think and we wiped the floor with them to be fair but obviously they got a goal that took it to penalties which was probably a better way to do it in yeah. front of the fans but I think we were more than due the win I think. Yeah, overall. you had the, had the guts to, to take a penalty and, and scored what was going through your head when, when you were stepping up to hit that? Uh, I mean, I think it helps when you play well in the game I think. Mm -hmm. I think everybody was confident where mm -hmm. you could we didn't miss a penalty, so Aye. I think you can see that. But like, I know where I put my penalties, and I, I knew where I was going, and I just, I just had to make sure I got the right connection on the ball. Yeah, that obviously is then set up the the second round game against Nantes, and you played your part in that one, scored another penalty. Yeah. In that, what was that first leg like at, at Easter Road? So good. I mean, Nantes were obviously a team that would would give you chances. I think, but. A good, a better footballing team and better individuals, but like as a team, you could just see the difference in the way we played compared to them. I think we were fighting for each other, whereas they were playing as individuals. So you took that lead to go into the second leg against Non. How impressed were you with the performance from the lads, you know, particularly on the counter attack? I obviously we started slow. I think them scoring gave us a kind of a boost in a way that we really needed to start playing our game again, but. I think once they scored, I think we got a lot more comfortable. It was obviously a different environment to play in with the, the crowd. They were quite hostile mm -hmm. over there. And it was just a, it was just a different game for us. But I think halftime came at a good time for us, being it, knowing that we were, as it stood, going through. But I think they were obviously going to have to come out at some point and leave gaps. And I think we ex executed the game plan quite well at mm -hmm. halftime and just went out and done our thing. A week later, it was the, the draw for, for the next round, the playoff round of the yeah. UEFA Youth League. How buzzing were the lads to get Dortmund? I mean, any team you got in that is obviously going to be a really, really tough test. Uh -huh. I think uh, you're, you're in the competition to play the best team, so bring them on, I guess. <laughs> Away from the, the Youth League, then, it's been, it's been some season for you. I think it's 20 goals in your last 16 games for the, the Dev squad in the under 18s. How much have you been enjoying your football this year? I've been enjoying it. I mean, getting games as a footballer is what you want to do, and you, you want to be playing more than you train. So I've been doing that, but obviously it's led to getting rewarded with being in match day squads and stuff. So I've quite enjoyed it, but obviously I need to keep it going if I want the same sort of joy. So I'm more than happy to start getting back playing on the Tuesdays and the Fridays and scoring more goals. 2023, I mean, it's really one month or so into it, but it's been some year for you. You turned 18 yeah. at the start of the year and then also had a couple of appearances on the, in the match day squad and on the bench for the first team. How much has that helped you? What's that experience like? No, it's been really good to be like, obviously I've I've done it when I was younger. I'd done it for a game last year and then obviously this year I've, I've turned 18 and I can just say to myself when I'm 18, I just want to obviously make my debut with you really. I mean, Hibs fans since I was born, so. I mean, to play Easter Road or to play anywhere, just to walk out on the pitch as a Hibs player and actually play a game would be unbelievable. Obviously, I've not had the opportunity yet, but I'm working every day in training to hopefully impress the manager and the coaching staff and they'll hopefully get my chance very soon. But development squad-wise, just to get as much game time as possible and I just want to just play football at the end of the day, as many games as possible and mm -hmm. keep scoring goals. Oh, well, Ethan, best of luck on Tuesday, best of luck for the rest of your time Thank you. here at Hibs. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you very much. Cheers.